In Mexico City, survivors pick through buildings reduced to piles of broken concrete and dust searching for survivors. The people they found were quickly carried away on stretchers. 86 kilometers south in Cuernavaca, parts of a road collapsed. Military trucks sped to the town center to help search for victims in several collapsed buildings. President Enrique Peña Nieto surveyed the damaged areas by plane and promised government medical care to anyone injured. Al ser informado, convoqué al Comité Nacional de Emergencias. I order the immediate activation of the plan which coordinates federal efforts to aid the population in an emergency. The Army, Navy and police are attending the affected areas. We are coordinating with the head of the government of Mexico City and the governors of the state of Mexico, Guerrero, Morelos and Puebla. The priority at this time is rescuing those people trapped and giving medical help to the injured. Hours before the quake hit, many in Mexico City had participated in drills on the anniversary of a deadly 1985 quake. Thousands fled to the city's streets in panic as Tuesday's quake shook buildings and sent concrete from one high-rise crashing to the street. At a daycare center, teachers escorted frightened children to a sidewalk outside for safety. Dramatic video showed smoke rising from several areas around Mexico City. Seismologists say more than 30 million people likely felt the quake. The epicenter was near the Puebla town of Raboso, about 123 kilometers southeast of Mexico City. The quake comes just over a week after another major earthquake shook the country, killing 98 people. Seismologists say Tuesday's quake was too large to be an aftershock from the earlier one. Officials say it's too early to accurately estimate the scope of the damage and the number of casualties, but they say both will be significant. Diane Esterbrook, Al Jazeera.